Hi, this is Pat. This is the crude oil chart we're looking at, the four range bars, and it's about 4.30 central time. The market is closed. The first thing we do when you see a high, you'll draw a line, and then you'll watch to the right to see if the market moves back that way, which it did. And now you want to see if it's going to breach the line. More than likely, the first time it hits, it's going to reverse. And sure enough, it reversed. There it again, it, it, it did breach the line this time. Let's see if it goes up and then hits the line again and start continues going up. Okay, it, 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 did, it made its up move, hit the line again, and now let's see if it's going to go up some more. And there again, it's got some uh, resistance, but it's, it's starting to channel up the way it looks. Over here we start to watch the candles. Again, I drew the line over here like we told you before. And again, it's bouncing around. It hit its head and went back down. This gave us the opportunity to look at the trend line which we're following. And look what happens there. It just, uh, it's bouncing off that trend line. It's making higher, higher highs. It bounced the trend line again. It's bouncing on this uh, support zone. It broke through right now, it's going down. Okay, there we're going to draw another line right there and see what goes on. Again, it hit its head on that line, went back down, it's hit its head again. It's going to breach it the way it looks. If it does, it might be time for a long trade. We also drew a line here to see what goes on. Let's just see what follows. Channeling, it breached the support zone, which is becoming support. Let's see if it breaks up there again. It's, it's down. I drew another line right there to see what's going to happen. Again, in our trend line, you can draw right here. Let's see if it hits back down to that 59.87. It did. It basically they tried to wick it. This to me shows there's a good chance it's going to reverse this back down. It basically tried to wick that line. It couldn't break above there, so it's likely going to go down. And it is going down, obviously. Now it reversed, I draw a support line there. Let's see what happens. Barely hit that line, it couldn't make it down to 54, it went down to 56. It's reversing so the trend could start following back up. Again that, right there, you're gonna hit that line. It's gonna start going up. And I drew that line back here and look what it did. It hit against there a couple times and bang. Looking for an up move here. If it breaches that, we're certainly going to have an up move. Bang, look at that. You've got the R2, which is a big, big thing. When you see that R2, there's something going on there. Uh, you're likely to see... Uh, resistance so when it breaches this line again it's going to have a hard time going above it because of the R2 sure see it just barely breached it 25 it breached it by about three ticks and back down again it's always a good chance to watch for reversal when it hits an R1 or R2 or any of these pivots always a good chance for reversal now it's just consolidating of course it's uh 2.30, the market's closed right about now, so there's pretty much a dead time. Nothing else is going to happen. Hope this helped you. Take care. God bless. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more of these trading videos. and Give me a like and give me some comments if this helped you.